so good morning everyone i hope you all are doing well and uh, today we are going to discuss the last topic of this chapter before we proceed to the next topic i would like to recall what we have learned before earlier we have seen in the beginning simple definition of democracy that means democracy is a form of government where rulers elected by the people which we have seen earlier that it was the very simple meaning of democracy right but uh, we found that uh, that meaning an adequate to us to make us understand about the democracy so we have seen different features of democracy uh, various features we have seen of democracy and uh, then after we came to the point that uh, which govern uh, which form of the government is the best one uh, so to get the answer of this question uh, we have seen arguments against democracy that means drawbacks of democracy disadvantages of democracy right and we found that uh, the few there are few uh, around six disadvantages of democracy at the same time we have seen more important arguments in favor of democracy advantages of democracy so yesterday we have seen the advantages of democracy and uh, i'd like to conclude it uh, after check the advantages and disadvantages i would like to conclude that uh, democracy is the best form of government yes uh, there are numerous uh, disadvantages are there but like i used to say that everything has its uh, uh, dimensions everything has uh, two dimensions good bad day night similar here uh, advantages disadvantages so but if you check uh, disadvantages are actually lesser than the advantages uh, advantages overweight disadvantages that's why we can say that uh, democracy is better than any other form of government we cannot say that democracy is perfect right democracy is solution of all the problems no actually not however we can say that democracy is the better form of government or best form of government compared to other right so now let's see the broader meanings of democracy so how to define democracy we have seen that uh, uh, minimal features that democracy must have earlier right and the most common from that democracy takes in our time is that of representative democracy so the democracy with which we know in uh, present time uh, that is representative type of democracy right uh, in countries that uh, we call democracy all people do not rule like uh, india uh, what kind of government does india have is there democracy in india dictatorship or monarchical form of government which form of government do we experience in india boys do you know form of government in india can you hear me am i audible can you hear me am i audible to you oh am i audible to you yes sir okay so give me the answer yes sir uh, i am expecting answer from you which form of government do we have in india is there democracy or dictatorship or monarchical form of government a very simple question even if we ask question to those kindergarten garden kids uh, i think uh, they would answer like this but definitely at this primary kids uh, no dance of this so i expect the same from you don't you know 
ready to support. There is democracy in India, but like other countries in the world, other democracies in the world, India, India also people do not rule directly. All the people do not rule directly in our country because uh, democracy that means uh, basically representative government. So a majority allowed to take decisions on behalf of all the people. Now, we don't make decision. However, majority, majority allowed to take decision on behalf of all the people. Even the majority does not rule directly. The majority of people rule through the elected representative. Majority does not mean that uh, majority people like uh, India, particular community or particular uh, group uh, that rules India, not actually like that, but uh, basically the elected representatives uh, elected by the majority of people, they rule the country, right? So the majority people rule through elected representatives. They do not rule directly. They do not make decision directly. However, they rule through elected representatives. So this become uh, necessary. Why? Why we need that uh, people rule? Why we don't rule ourselves? We have answers. I have answers. I have two points to describe it. The very first thing is that in modern democracies involves such a large number of people that is practically impossible because people cannot gather at a particular place and uh, sit together and uh, make collective decisions. Uh, practically, that is impossible. Do you think that is possible, practical, that all the people of Gujarat uh, sit together at a particular place and they make decision for Gujarat. What to do, uh, like uh, decision regarding developmental decisions or about traffic rule or something like that, or agriculture or even about education, whether the school open or not. Right. So, do you think that uh, practically people can uh, gather at a particular place, sit together and make collective decision? Is it practically possible? What do you think? Practically possible to do so. Your opinion, I'm asking. What do you think? Is it possible that people, large number of people, people of Gujarat, basically, mm. right, sit together at a particular place and take collective decision? Do you think? Mm. That is practically possible. Am I audible to you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Am I audible to you? Yes, sir. Okay, good to hear that. Uh, why no answer from you? I said, uh, is it practically possible that all the people of Gujarat together, right, sit together at a particular place and take collective decision? I don't know your view, but practically that is impossible. The reality is that practically it is, it is no, impossible. No, sir, that is yes. not Yes, right. Practically not possible. Right. And even, even if they could, just let's just assume it. Even if they could, the citizens, people do not have time. Right, because we have to do our own stuff. We are busy in our activities, in our day-to-day -day life. We don't have time as well as uh, people do not have desire. People do not have skill to make such kind of decision. That is the second reason I would like to give for them. Uh, why we do have representative type of government. <clears throat> so this uh, gives us a clear but minimal understanding of democracy. This clarity helps us to distinguish democracies from non-democracies. But it does not allow us to distinguish between democracy and a good democracy. It does not uh, allow us to see operation of democracy beyond government. 
for this we need to turn to broader meaning of democracy so let's try to understand broader meaning of democracy so basically democracy is not limited to the system of government yes uh, in the uh, minimal meaning of democracy we have seen democracy is a form of government where ruler elected by the people yes i said this and that is correct in the beginning we have seen and that is absolutely right democracy is form of government where the rulers are elected by the people but that meaning of democracy is minimal let's talk about broader meaning of democracy because broader meaning of democracy is not only limited to the country or to the government it is applicable everywhere if we talk about that my class there is a uh, some person practical exam uh, sorry practical example i would like to give you uh, your class is stand up and i didn't teach in the open classes so we didn't meet face to face uh, in open classes right uh, however just i would like to give some information regarding my class about my class it's in my class is stand up democracy why democracy because in my class all the students are allowed to ask me questions even though in live classes we are allowed to do so uh, more and more uh even in class sometime i ask students means uh, whether if they want to write the notes or if they want to discuss uh, any doubt if you know that it should daily i ask anyone i ask you who as well uh, as well as sometime i ask uh, whether to start new uh, topic or not there is kind of democracy in my class students are allowed to ask question and in fact any kind of questions they are allowed to ask in offline classes as well as in online classes yeah you are also allowed to ask me the question many a times i said this and again i am repeating the same that is democracy it's not like that uh, and i come here every day uh, uh, to our session i ask you to switch off your mic and switch off your camera and just listen to me whatever i speak here it's not like that right that is not right yes. definitely you are allowed to ask me questions here Actually, I would appreciate if you do so. So that is democracy. Uh, similarly, if you like, if you talk about uh, a family, uh, you know that in India mostly joint family people live in joint family. And uh, when they take uh, when a family uh, needs to take a big decision, in that case, uh, you know that family members sit together, they discuss, they give their opinion, and then they make the decision. Even sometimes uh, opinions of minors like you also matters. that is democratic system in family right so this ways of using the word democracy go back to its basic sense of matter of taking decisions a democratic decision involves consultation with the consent of all those who are affected right by its decision consent approval right uh, that is democracy <clears throat> so those who are not powerful the same way they taking decision as those who are powerful like the uh, in a family i will say example the general decision taken by their just like fathers mother father and mother they make decisions in the family uh, however they also consider your opinion minors opinion even your kids because you are affected by such decisions right so this can apply to a government or a family or any other organization this democracy is also a principle that can be applied to any sphere of life it's not about the democracy it is all about a country uh, related to a country or limited to the government no that is applicable as well it is uh, about the country a city a family a even a friend circle a group of friends group of friends we also take collective decisions you can see the opinion of each of our friends that is democracy and sometimes we use the word democracy not to describe any existing government but to set up an ideal standard that all democracy must aim to become uh, basically when we talk about uh, democracy and the country at the time actually uh, we sometimes put ideal standard like uh, true democracy will come to this country only when no one goes hungry to bed it's kind of ideal standard it don't think like that 
people expect this kind of young, uh, such kind of uh, uh, their ideal, their ideas from them, because they believe from them. Uh, one more. Uh, in democracy, every citizen must be able to play equal role in decision making. For this, you don't need just an equal right to vote, but every citizen needs to have equal information, basic education, equal resources, and a lot of commitment. Then only you consider as democracy. So such uh, ideals uh, we expect from democracy, and uh, somehow those ideas, those ideals are basically not wrong. But however, if the idea is not fulfilled by the government, so we cannot blame democracy for the same. Because remember, democracy is nothing but a form of government and a system. It's not like uh, democracy is a magical solution for all the problems we face in our country. It's not like that. <clears throat> right? So here, you know that uh, Democracy enable us to judge existing democracy, right? And that is the greatest advantage of democracy. It helps us to distinguish between a minimal democracy and a good democracy. So here we have seen about the democracy as a form of government, right? Uh, further we shall learn day by day and in upcoming chapters as well as next year more about democracy. So, I would like to conclude this chapter because this chapter is all about democracy, right? Every democracy has tried to realize the ideals of democratic decision making. This cannot be achieved once and for all. This requires constant effort to save the save and the standard democratic form of decision making. What we do as citizens can make a difference to making our country more or less democratic. In democracy, we have right. We have rights to elect our leaders, our representatives. We have rights to become leader. So everything in our hands is democracy. Right. So the fate of them, the fate of the country depends not just on what the rulers do, but mainly on what we people as citizens do, right? Because we have granted powers to rulers for five years, that's it. And if you forget this, if we let them free them, it's our fault. Because ultimately in democracy, the democracy powers rest on hands of the people. So this is what distinguishes democracy from other governments, other forms of government like monarchy, dictatorship or one party political system like China, they do not require all citizens to take part in politics, right? In fact, most non-democratic government would like citizens not to take part in politics. Uh, they are not allowed to criticize the government even. But democracy depends on active political participation by all the citizens, directly and indirectly. This is why study of democracy must focus on democratic politics and we shall continue in the next chapter. So here our chapter is over. We shall further discuss regarding the notes and the new chapter by 